In this last lesson of the series, we will look at two ways to improve the quality of your recordings. Firstly, we will look at normalising, which improves record levels, and then we will look at reducing noise. I recommend using the audio file provided here. So download the exercise file. When we record audio, one of the most important parts of the recording process is getting the record levels correct, which we looked at in Lesson 1. However, the record levels can often be a little lower than expected when we listen back to the recording. The normalising process looks for the loudest parts of the recording and increases the volume to the maximum level, or close to the maximum, without clipping the loudest parts. The volume of the whole of the audio file is also increased by the same amount. However, you should be aware that this process may also increase the level of any noise. To normalise the audio recording, first drag across the whole of the waveform to select all of the audio on the track. Then go to the Effects menu and select Normalise. Tick both boxes in the Normalise window and set the dB level, or decibels level, to 0 dB. Then click OK. Watch what happens to the waveform as the normalised process takes effect. It might not be a dramatic change, but you should notice a change and an overall increase in the audio level across the waveform. As I mentioned earlier, background noise can be a problem especially if you have to normalise or amplify your recording, which amplifies the noise as well. The noise removal effect is a very simple two-step process that can reduce constant background sounds, such as a machine hum. However, it should not be used for irregular background noises, such as traffic or clicks. To remove a constant noise from the recording, you will need to find a part of the recording that contains only the noise you want to remove. That noise is then sampled and removed from the whole of the recording. But be warned, this process can damage your audio and distort the sound. So if you do try this, listen back to the recording to make sure the quality is not reduced. So the first step is to identify and select the noise in the recording. You may have to zoom into the waveform to find a suitable part. I have some noise here at the very start of my recording which I can use. So I shall use the selection tool to select the noise. Then go to the effect menu, noise removal and click the get noise profile button. The second step is to remove the noise from the recording. Select the whole of the waveform that contains the noise you want to remove. Then go back to the effects menu and choose noise removal again. Click OK to remove the noise. Listen to the recording to see how it has been affected and if the noise reduction has worked. If it's not quite right, undo the changes and try again. This time adjusting the sliders in the noise removal effect to vary the amount of reduction. Both these processes have the potential to improve your recording, but as I have already said, they can also be damaging processes as well, adding noise and distortion. You should never rely on post-production processes like these to improve recordings and always be aware of these possible problems at the time of recording.